Okay, in today's video, I thought I'd just go over a quick description about how we draw circuits with resistors. And we'll go through a circuit for drawing um, <clears throat> for series resistors and measuring the voltage and also parallel resistors and how we measure the current. So um, I think these are the most common uh, circuit symbols that you'll see. We have one for a DC voltage source, which we have here. This is really the DC voltage source, like a battery, direct current voltage source. One line is longer and one line is shorter. If you have two lines of the same length, then that's a capacitor. Okay, and this is one is longer and one is shorter. These are the wires that connect to the voltage source, and the longer line is the positive end of the supply, the voltage source, and the shorter end is the negative. Then we have two different kinds of resistance. Now, if you're in the United States, of course, this is the most common time you'll see this kind of a zigzag, jagged line like that. That's a resistor. If you're in Europe and in other places, you might see this kind of rectangle box. This is also a symbol for resistor. Of course, we have a light bulb, which is also a kind of resistor, but it's a special kind of resistor. You give it a special symbol. It is a circle with an X through it. You'll Sometimes you'll see different things inside here. Like sometimes you see like this looping thing that's like the filament of a wire, but I think maybe, you know, this is the most common kind, but that's a light bulb. Then we have a switch. The switch is often shown open like that. So the current cannot flow through the switch. And then we have two meters. The most common would be a voltmeter and a very common, same thing common also is the ammeter. This one measures voltage and this one measures current. Okay. So I think those are the ones you'll see most often. And then we're going to talk about drawing series circuits and voltage. A series circuit is often called a voltage splitter or a voltage divider. So I'll show you how we can show the, how we measure the voltage or how we put a voltmeter uh, on a series circuit. But usually I think maybe people start with the voltage source, voltage source, VS, the battery. Sometimes you'll see B or VB or something like that. And then when we draw the circuit, we have three bulbs in series. I think that's the most common number. And then we just connect those with wires. We draw the wires. We draw straight lines and right angles. That's the most common way you do it. It's not just like, you know, drawing a line that goes looping like this or a line that goes like this. Usually you draw a straight line and right angles. There are some exceptions to that, and in some ways you can do it differently, but that's the most common way. I think that's the way you should do it. Get out a ruler, draw straight lines and right angles in here. You just connect the bulbs one two three in a row and that's probably the most common way you'll see it sometimes you can see like all i mean you could see like all three bulbs on one side or two bulbs over here and one over here and nothing over here but usually we spread them out like that so you get three bulbs in series now we're going to measure the voltage drop across those three bulbs and then you get that that's v1 v2 and v3 for three different volt meters and when you measure the voltage, you measure the voltage drop across an element. So we have a wire on one side of the element and one side on the other side of the element. Because the current's going to flow in this direction, and we're going to measure the voltage on one side. We're going to measure the voltage on the other side, subtract those two, and that's what will be shown in the voltmeter. Voltage is joules per coulomb. So we measure one side, and we show the difference on the voltmeter. And we can do that for all three and you could also put one over here i didn't put one here but you could put a voltage here because we have a voltage gain so you can measure the gain and remember all three drops have to equal the gain for a series circuit so i think that's how you show a series circuit and voltage measuring the voltage now i did say you should use right angles and straight lines now you know this one might think oh that's okay but like that but not has straight lines but it doesn't have right angles i just don't think you draw we just don't draw it like that Okay, because you want to be consistent and you want to have be able other people to read your circuits. So that's not the right way to do it. Okay, uh, I think now we're going to go on to parallel circuits and current. We start off the same way with the voltage source, the battery. And then we might draw three bulbs in parallel like that. We might label them 1, 2, 3, B1, B2, B3, R1, R2, R3, depending on you want to think of them as resistors or specifically bulbs. And then we want to have an ammeter in line with each of those to measure the current through each branch. So we're just going to connect them once again with straight lines and right angles. And we're going to put uh, one through each one like that. We have three different branches. Now I just put this ammeter to measure the current here. 
and put this one down here and this one up here. Now, it doesn't matter where we place it. Usually, probably you place them all up here, or maybe you place them all down here, but the current is the same through that throughout this entire branch. The current is the same throughout this entire branch. The current is the same throughout this whole entire branch here. So it doesn't matter where we put the ammeter for each branch, as long as we put it in line with each branch. Kind of you put the current meters um, uh, in series with the elements and you put the voltmeters across the elements. All right. Now also we would like to have like maybe what's the total current. So we might put a total current meter right here, amp T for amp total current. And I think that's all that we would do like that. That's a pretty straightforward. Now there's a little bit more variation how we can draw uh, a parallel circuit. So I drew this one like that. I think that's one of the common ways you'll see it, but you could also see that drawn like that, where you have the voltage coming out, current coming out of the battery, out of the source, through the uh, a current meter that measures the total current, and then you can see it splits into one branch, two branches, and three branches. This is also a very common way that you'll see the current drawn, uh, I mean the circuit drawn for a parallel circuit. Okay, so I think that's all I was going to do. Uh, that's uh, drawing series circuits, drawing parallel circuits, voltage on the series, and current on the parallel. Of course, you could combine those. We could put voltmeters across each of these, and we could put on the series circuit, we could put a current meter in line and measure the current throughout that entire circuit. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video, and don't forget sharing is caring. Leave me a comment if I didn't mention that, and uh, please share this video with all your friends and show them how much you care. Okay? Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.